This is a short video about how to configure an IX network a device group stack with IGMP using the NextGen framework. Here we have a device group with two devices. At the lower level you have the Ethernet stack for the two devices. The IPv4 stack, this is the IP address that the two devices in the device group will use for that host. Moving up to the IGMP host stack. Here, the IGMP host stack is currently configured for version 2 with one group range per uh, host and the default settings for IGMP here, um, which in this scenario is responding to the query coming from the DUT or PIM, etc. Uh, under IGMP version 2, uh, if you go here to the source tab, um, we are not doing a source specific join, so therefore the source is not configurable. If you were to change um, this to version 3 and then go to the IGMP source, um, you should then be able to change these values. Um, now these are the source specific um, joins or reports that the host is sending. So they're joining a multicast group coming from this source. So this will be different from the IP address assigned to the uh, IGMP host. Uh, and then finally on the group ranges you're just specifying um, the exact uh, group that you're joining, um, you know how many sources that you're going to have here, uh, this value here is tied to uh, partially what you see over here as such. You can add more ranges. Of course you can also have multiple sources within this group range here. As well over here on the group ranges you can have um, three groups here incrementing by this and you can also uh, increment the group ranges um, if needed. So it has the flexibility that you can configure clusters or groups of ranges um, that may be like this may be one slash 24 and another and another and another and such. So you could have incrementing the third octet um, 200 addresses here, 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 and here, and then incrementing the third octet so you could group them like that.